Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're doing a yin yoga class to increase hamstring flexibility. Let's begin in half shoelace, so stretch out your legs in front of you. Maybe pet your cat if you have one. Keep your right leg straight and you're going to bend the left knee and cross your left foot over that right thigh to stack your left knee directly on top of the right one. If your knee stays more lifted than mine, that's totally fine. You can always use a blanket to fill any gaps. Now gently fold forward and you may find that it won't take much to feel it in the hamstrings here, so you might want to prop up your head with a block to support yourself. Take time to find your edge, don't go too far into the pose, we will stay here for 4 minutes. Notice if your mind starts wandering, bring your attention back to your breath or to any sensation you're feeling. Whatever works best to stay present in the moment. Use your arms to press yourself back up, remove the block if you had it, 
and cross your left leg. And before doing the second side, just let the knees fall from side to side as a counter pose. Left leg goes out straight, bending your right leg to cross it over the left thigh, aligning the knees on top of each other or at least as close as possible without feeling pain or too strong of a sensation. Fold down, maybe close place the forehead on, on a block so that you can relax and let go even more. So on an intensity scale from 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5. You may find that it's not as intense as in other yoga classes you've been to, but because we're holding the pose for a longer period of time in yin, we really don't want to go all in right away. We rather invite the body to open in its own time. Come back up, use your hands to press yourself up, remove the block, legs uncross and before transitioning to lie on the floor just let the knees fall from side to side again, windshield wipering the legs. For the next pose you will need a strap. If you don't have one, that's no problem. You can just use a belt or a folded blanket. It works just, it, just as well. 
So come all the way to lie down on your back, knees bent, take your strap and loop it around your right foot and then extend your leg straight up to the ceiling. Try for yourself how far up you want to hold on to the strap. I personally prefer to hold it further upwards, but that's totally up to you. And don't lock out your knees here and hyperextend. Try to keep a micro bend in that leg to protect the joint. And your left leg can stay bent on the mat. Only straighten it out if you've been practicing for a long time and you're really flexible. Otherwise, just keep it bent. Take deep breaths in and out through the nose and try to send it to wherever you feel the sensation. Slowly let go of the strap, right foot comes back down to the floor and then right away doing the opposite side, loop the strap around the ball of your left foot and straighten the left leg, again with a slight micro bend in that knee joint and choose where you want to hold on to the strap. You may find that one leg is very different from the other like for me, my right leg always feels a bit tighter than the left one, and that's totally normal, most people have that. Just adjust to where your edge is, even if that means you don't go as far on one side.
Release the hold of the strap. Put it to the side, we won't need it anymore. Maybe pull both knees into the chest, giving it a big squeeze. When you're ready, stretch out into Shavasana, straightening your legs. Arms go out to the sides. And just rest here. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and toes, reach the arms up overhead in a big cat stretch, draw one leg into the chest and then the other, give yourself a squeeze. And then roll over to your right side, using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat. Keeping your eyes closed and intention inward, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat, cross-legged or kneeling. Palms come together in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. May you carry light and love out into your rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like this video and share it with a friend. Practice again with you soon.